I always wondered what life is, so yeah, today's vlog is just gonna focus on having fun in life and just being happy and enjoying the overall small things that make us happy. So, without further ado, let us begin. So we're starting the vlog on a Monday and we're spending some time with grandma and she's teaching me how to plant a sprouted sweet potato. Yeah, so after our lovely time spent with grandma on planting our sprouted sweet potato, I decided to jump rope. Yeah. And I just trip on myself every single time. It's really sad and I'm tangled. I'm tangled in a mess. Kind of frustrated me, but when you get tangled, you just gotta untangle yourself and try again. Even if you trip on it again and again. Never give up. And on to breakfast, we got oats. Again, I love oats and I'm making this new flavor. So I put sweet potato, cocoa powder, and since I don't have milk, I use five tablespoons of milk. Follow the ingredients on the list and just mix everything together and cook it up. And put some raisin inside and yeah, you got it. And I'm just enjoying my oats at the dining table and writing in my diary and journal, just focusing on the good parts in life. And for lunch, we had stir fried noodles. And when I say stir fried noodles, I mean. Yeah, stir fried noodles legit, like literally, but it's so good, especially when grandma makes it. Like, I don't know what she puts inside. Like, I mean, I know what she puts inside, but it's just that flavor, you know, that flavor of love you get when you eat something from grandma's house. You know, that warm feeling, and everything is just so well. Like, it just fits so well together, and I'm just so glad that I can be eating this lovely food from my grandma. And I will truly take all of these food memories when I am in college. And yeah, I need to remember this recipe, so yes. You better remember it as well, because you have to give it a try. And yeah, if you do, comment down below and tell me what you guys think. So after just stirring everything together, we top it off with a little bit of green onions and our fried garlic and little tiny shallots and just stir everything together and we are done. It's so easy, so simple, so delicious and we are about to have a taste of this. And of course, I gave it a taste and oh my god a solid 10 out of 10 guys 10 out of 10 so for dinner we got this tofu skin and we got this cha shao rou it's so good grandma always prepares so many dishes for me when i go to her house it's like oh my god like i'm in heaven so moving on to wednesday i went back to my house and for breakfast i made a very delicious bagel sandwich so I just started cutting up some vegetables, got my onions and bell peppers and tomatoes, all diced up. And I personally don't have time to cook like every vegetable I've time, so I just figured, oh, you know, just put them together and just season them up with like cumin, salt, pepper, and rosemary, and then drizzle some olive oil, crack some salt to the taste, Peel some garlic and put it in the oven and goodbye. Yes, and I cooked it for about 20 minutes. So on to our spring onions. You want to cut them up real nice and fine or just give it like a rough chop and crack two eggs. Two eggs, yes. And when we are done cracking our eggs, all you have to do is mix 
mix them up real good until everything is smooth and yellowy and then we're gonna saute our bell pepper first put some cumin and salt and season it and then we're gonna tear up our cheese and then we're gonna flip our egg and i'm sorry that it is so ugly but that's all i have so yeah so i just flipped it you can see the cheese oozing out and then we got the two bagels two bagels slice them up in half put it in the oven so when our bagel is done in the oven it's got the nice and crispy outer crust smear on a big amount of jam like seriously so much jam and i know it sounds weird but it tastes so good Let's give the bagel a try Of course, you know I am a hungry girl, so I gotta eat some yogurt, some apples, and my favorite nut, walnut. Walnuts can give you brain power, which is exactly what I need. And then moving on to our morning workout, I decided to do a 30-minute hour workout by Pamela Reef. Thank you, Pamela Reef. And yeah, it was super sunny. And I think I almost fainted because of the heat, but I just continued. And here's a quote, never give up no matter how hot or how difficult. That's a quote that I came up with, so yeah. And just some kicking and yeah, I really felt that after. So I encourage you guys to try this workout out if you are bored or you have little space at home because this requires a little amount of space and you can get a full ab workout done and you can get a six pack so yeah oh and i also forgot to mention that it was dragon boat festival so i had this really nice sticky rice it's very traditional Yeah, it tasted absolutely amazing. There's like a little hint of bamboo flavor from the bamboo leaves. I also have some mango and dinner time was so delicious. Premiered by our lovely mother. And yeah, this is just the view of the city. And I hope all of you have seen what that quote had just said because I couldn't read that. But I just want you guys to know that today is such a beautiful day. And just please just throw away any negativity you have and I hope you have gained a lot of positivity from this video by seeing cooking or just amazing views and from my very crazy yet kind of positive talk I hope I have influenced you guys to just enjoy the very moment of life that you are in right now is that correct grammar okay that's correct okay yeah so on to bicycle training I just love biking and Sometimes I like to look outside the window, and yeah, set up right. Okay, I think you can see me, so.